So that's uh, 89th, 88th and Hawthorne. We're on Hawthorne right now. And this is uh, 8835 Hawthorne Avenue. So this is called the Florida Room. What a lot, it is a uh, screened-in porch area, old school. Um, what most people would do here is probably knock it down, uh, put together a nice deck, install a pool, um, fix up the landscaping, and uh, you've got an amazing house. This property was purchased last year by two partners. They were supposed to move in. They decided not to and uh, now it's available for sale. They will share the inspection report to show you what they have done and haven't done, and this one will sell very, very quickly. It's probably the next house to sell. Um, we've got two bedrooms on the left and a garage that was converted to a third bedroom on the right. Let's go check out the bedrooms. So this is your master with a closet here. and a bathroom en suite. Uh, what I like about this house is it gets a lot of sunlight all day long. It's, uh, it has a western exposure in the front, but you're not being bombarded by all the hot sun, but you're getting some great morning and afternoon sunshine throughout the entire apartment. You don't even need to have the lights on. This is the master bathroom. Keep in mind, all the houses in Surfside are less than 2,000 square feet. Um, the seller renovated it. Um, there are some things that are original condition, such as a uh, roof, which has no problems, plumbing and electrical, and I think the only things that you really need to do to this house would be just make it your own. Oh, by the way, let me just show you this again. It goes this way as well. And there's a bathroom in between for the second bedroom. So this is a full bath and a shower. With window, that's nice. A little pocket for your soap. This is the second bedroom located in the front. You've got uh, hurricane impact windows on the most important windows, so the sides are not that important. And the front has it as well. This is uh, the closet for this bedroom. This is the footprint. There is no floor plan available, so I'll try to estimate the size of the rooms. Front of the house, big living area. And the whole kitchen is open from both sides. And down here is the third bedroom. We'll concentrate on the kitchen in one second. So this is a step down. This is the former garage. Very not uncommon for somebody to convert a garage into a third bedroom because most of these houses are 1,500 square feet. 
So in order to get a third bedroom, you gotta take away from the garage. And most people usually just park their cars outside. This is a closet that has plumbing already for a washer dryer. So it would go there. This is your water heater, looks relatively new. And that's a door for the side, just in case one of the kids want to go out at night without telling you. Just kidding. Uh, let's, so let's look at the, uh, the kitchen. Okay, so the lights are not working right now in the kitchen. But you have a double sink, you've got a dishwasher, a Whirlpool refrigerator, nice wooden cabinets, a backsplash. You've got lights there, and you have about six lights in the ceiling. So this place lights up really well. They changed all the lighting to be just like this, LED. Um, and uh, it looks very, very good. This is in great shape. You have a Whirlpool stove and a GE microwave. And that's basically 8835 Hawthorne Avenue. Um, this one will sell probably near 850, um, depending on what you want to do the house. I can consult with you there. Any questions, I'm always available on 917-767-7000. Okay, so let's take a little tour around the side of the house. Most people would store their sanitation right here. This is the garage or the third bedroom. We're now passing the kitchen and the living room and here's your Florida room. I'd get rid of that. It's very, very large. So you get some nice space available. And this is your outdoor space. There's a lot you can do with this. storage shed over there, HVAC, so Florida room, living area, dining area, master bedroom. I would definitely open up that Florida room, take advantage of this large backyard area, you'll definitely increase the value of this property very, very quickly. Um, I say that with confidence because a house just went to contract over 900,000. There was a bidding war. It was on fraud. And uh, because of the lack of inventory and our record sales pace during the last 12 months, I think we sold like 30 houses under a million. <laughs> uh, there's like nothing left. So you've got something like this. It will require some work.